Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, guys, check this out. I don't care if she's a stripper or a Sunday school teacher. The fact is, women cheat way more than men. I'm going to break that down and tell you why in this video. I don't care if she's an accountant or a nurse. Across the board, guys, women cheat more than men. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that red like and subscribe button. Subscribe to my videos. Get your notebooks out and your pencils out of your tablets, whatever you younger generation guys do. Take some notes here because I'm throwing some gold at you. Guys, before I get started, remember two things. Number one, if somebody can take her from you, then you don't need her. Number two, guys, before you get your hopes up and all excited about a new girl that you've met, remember this, especially if she's pushing 30 years old or even older than 30 years old. If she was that great, somebody else would probably already have her. All right, guys, jumping right into why women cheat more than men. Guys, it's simple math. I want you to think about this. If you go and you take 100 women from society, average women, you get them from college campuses, nightclubs, restaurants, corporate office buildings, doesn't matter. Go get 100 girls aged 20 to 40, line them up on a street corner. Then you go do the same thing and get 100 guys aged 20 to 40, line them up on the street corner. Then you send one of the guys over, just an average guy, to ask those 100 girls, hey, do you want to go have sex? Like 98 of those 100 girls are going to say, hell no. Whether they want to or not, these girls are going to say no because that's just the way they're cut out. Now, think about this. Send one of those average girls over to the guy line and start asking guys, hey, do you want to go have sex with me? She's going to be pulled off in the bathroom and bent over the toilet. She's going to be over at the Motel 6 getting her back blown out. Every single guy is just about going to say yes. Whereas every single girl is just about going to say no when they're asked. Guys, think about that. Think about living in a world where you could have sex with pretty much any woman you wanted to at any time that you wanted to. And that's the reality that women live in, okay? And that's precisely the reason why women cheat way more than guys, because they have infinite opportunities. I'm going to tell you something else. Think about this. If you have a guy, if you, you guys don't believe me, go get you a girlfriend, just a friend of yours, just a friend, and you guys start Tinder accounts. If you consider yourself a six or a seven on the scale one to ten, in looks, in money, house, income, all that stuff. You're just an average guy. Go get a Tinder account. And then find just an average girl and have her go get a Tinder account. Let me tell you what's going to happen. After 24 hours, she's probably going to have 100 direct messages in her box. She's going to have tons of pictures. She's going to have tons of offers for dates, dinner, sex. Guys are going to be blowing her up. How many are you going to have? Probably two maybe three if you're lucky. Let me tell you something else too, guys. The opportunities that this girl will get, this average girl that's a six or a seven, her opportunities will be with guys. She's going to play up. She's going to play up. Guys with better looks, guys with better jobs, guys with better money. That's who's going to be approaching her. All these blue pill simps are going to be approaching her. Now, what kind of girls are going to be approaching you? If you're just an average guy, guaranteed it's going to be girls below you, okay? Girls that are below you in the looks range. Girls that are below you in the income range, okay? It's just not going to work out near as well. That's a fact of life. It kind of reminds me one time I was in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico at the old Papagayo bar with a good friend of mine. And he went upstairs with this girl and they did the deed. And then as they were getting dressed, she looked at him and she said, are you married? And he kind of looked down. He was a sentimental guy. And he said, yeah, yeah, I am. And she just smiled and she said, well, she's screwing somebody else too. And then the guy came back to me and he said, hey, do you think my wife, and we're just going to call her Michelle for the sakes of this video. He said, hey, man, do you think Michelle's screwing around on me? And I said, no. And that was back in my younger days when I was a real dumb shit and didn't understand the game. Well, turns out about six months later, he figured out that his wife was, in fact, cheating on him. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. You need to remember something. The girl is never yours. It's just your turn. Even if you're in a marriage, you need to keep an extremely close eye on her. And let me tell you why. The world that they live in, the world that they're accustomed to, guys open the doors for them. 
guys paying for their meals, guys pretty much just kissing their ass, okay? And them being able to have sex with whoever they want, whenever they want, for all these years. And then they marry you. See, most of the time, guys, they married you for security. They don't actually love you or in love with you. They're in love with what you can do for them, okay? And that's how come you see all these girls sometimes, and they're with these IT guys, these guys with the glasses, you know, and you're looking and you're like, how did that work out? Or just the opposite. You see a very beautiful girl, and she's with a guy that's just terribly ugly. I mean, the guy looks like Frankenstein, but he's got a big bank account. He's got a big job, things like that. So what you got to remember, guys, is, they are grown up in their whole lives. They live in this environment where they can pretty much have sex with whoever they want, whenever they want. Imagine that, guys. How cool would that be? If you could have sex with whoever you wanted to, whenever you wanted to. Well, that's the reality that these females live in. So now all of a sudden they get married. They have the house. They have the guy. They have the kid. But do you really think every now and then they might miss that old lifestyle? I guarantee you they do. Guys, we're all human. And that's why a very wise friend of mine told me, any man can have sex with any woman he wants. Or he said, any man can have sex with any woman at any time. Anything is possible. The percentages might be slim, okay? But I'm telling you, every now and then we're all human. Just like you look at girls, even if you're married or you've been in a committed relationship for a long time, you look at a girl and you think, damn, I'd like to have that. Well, women also look at guys and think, damn, I'd like to have that. What would that be like? The only difference is between a girl and a guy, with the guy, when you look at her and say, damn, I'd like to have that, there's like a 98% chance that you can't have that. Remember what I said about the people lined up in the beginning of the video? Guys asking girls, girls asking guys. So when a guy looks and says, man, I'd like to have that, chances are, yeah, it's a thought, but it's not a reality. But remember this, guys. When the girl looks over there and says, man, I'd like to have that, it's not a thought. There is a 98% chance that it is actually a reality, okay? So, just remember what I said and recap in this video. Number one, guys, if somebody can take her, you don't need her, all right? So, before you get all your hopes up, too, you need to remember if she was that great, somebody else would probably already have her. Now, guys, just pay attention to detail. The only way you're really going to catch a girl is by going through her phone or hiring a private investigator. So I'm not saying that you need to do that. I'm just saying they're probably never going to admit it. Women are also masters of deception. The deception starts every morning when they wake up and they put on their makeup. Think about it, guys. Everything about these women are deception. And that's a video for another time. But the deception starts with the hair color, the makeup, the eyeliner, the eyeshadow, the eyebrows, the fake nails, the boob jobs, the tummy tucks. It just goes on and on and on. Guys, hey, smash that like and subscribe button. I hope I did prove to you right there why women cheat more than men. Guys, it's just a fact. It's a mathematical equation. They cheat more than men because they have more opportunity to cheat than men. Okay? Fact of life. All right, guys. Peace out. We'll see you down the road.